Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you all. I am going to move my computer up here, get a little better setup. I was just a little too low. Let's make sure I don't show. There we go. Right there. That's a little better. Whoop. Tipping. Still out. Okay. Just doing a little setup here as we get started today, getting in the right position, getting all my stuff around me. Today, we are going to talk about tools because at Art of Skin Care, I'm moving my trolley over here with all my products on it. There we go. So this week at Art of Skin Care, Tuesday through Thursday, earn two times reward points on everything in our tools category. So, you know, we talk about tools a lot and I often, when I bring in a tool, I do with you guys like a special facial that you can do once a week or something like that. And I have a nice facial routine. So I thought it would be fun to just show you the choices, what I use each day. These are kind of my daily tools. And um, I'm also going to show you what you could use instead if you don't have the exact tool that I have. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to have one of those days where I'm going to put on one of these things. I'm going to wash my face with you guys and have some fun with it. So let's get started here. There, now I have a nice clean slate to start with. Now in the mornings when I wake up, one of the things that I like to do is grab my Botnia oil. This is the Wisdom Oil from Botnia. And I like to just put on a little bit. You could do this, you could use it, um, what I'm gonna do is the Onma. So you could do this with the pore cleansing oil. You could do this with any oil that you like to use for your skin that is nice and lightweight. So when I'm first getting up, I often like to do some movements with my Onma. So I'll get in here, go around the lip area, releasing tension. I like to get in this little line right here because we get a lot of uh, stagnation in here and this muscle shrinks up and and uh, doesn't work so well around the mouth. So I'm getting this nice line in here. And I always have to remind myself and I'm gonna remind you guys too because when I start doing it, I get right in there and I just start digging. Don't dig. So use very light pressure. The pressure with the Onma is really just the weight of the device on the skin. So come in here with just really nice, lightweight movements. I like to go around the eye area. I get a lot of tension around my eyes. I got it from my dad. My dad and I both are squinters and get those frown lines. And we just scrunch up our whole faces when we're thinking about things. And so this is really important for me to use this device around my eye area. And again, being really gentle with it. We also have these little prongs on fingers on this side. So you can get in there and get some of the pressure points. And I'm not going to do as long of a massage as I would normally do. I'm always, always draining the lymph. So I'm going to get the sides of the neck. This draining this lymph is really going to help with under eye puffiness, under eye circles, any puffiness in the face. So I'm going to just do a quickie because I got to get through all these tools with you guys today. And we have to do it in an hour. I don't want this to be a two hour long live session. So that I would normally do more. I even get in here and go around my ears. I just love this tool. It's just something to play with and just do what feels good for you. And it's a really nice way to nurture yourself. What we're doing is we're just loosening up that fascia that gets chronically tense. And you know, like this area where I have chronic tension in this area, this is going to create deepening and more deeper and permanent lines on the face. Same with this tension area around here. And what we do when we gently loosen up that fascia is we release that tension. So those lines don't have to get as deep and uh, permanent. I find though, this one, it doesn't matter. I mean, this really has helped me. Definitely this really helps 
doing some massage and breaking this up in here and doing my microcurrent and all those treatments through here help with this. But you can see I'm, you know, I'm going to be 60 next year. I have to start talking about 60 now, but I'm 59. I'm going to have permanent lines showing up. So there I am getting a permanent line there. That's okay with me. I'm not going to go get Botox. It's just not my thing. Um, I totally respect people who do go get Botox and do it. That's fine too. But I have just made that choice to age gracefully and really love the lines in my face. I'm learning how to love that line. <laughs> giggle, giggle. Okay, so my next step, um, next thing we're going to talk about is cleansing. Because when you're cleansing, really, for me, cleansing is the most important step in your routine. And, you know, there's you guys can watch videos of my detox cleansing massage that I do with my fingers. But today I'm going to show you the different tools that you can also use for cleansing. So um, I have the Wave, and I'm going to be using that with you guys today. Let's see what else I have here. I have the MSB. That is an excellent cleansing tool. <laughs> I keep turning it on. Turn it off. I also have our Hello Glow. This little sonic brush. This is an excellent cleansing device. And, um, but I like to use the wave. And so I'm going to use that with you guys today. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a nice cleansing gel that has a lot of slip to it. And my favorite for that is the Dr. S day moisture cleansing gel. Love this stuff. I put a little bit in my hands and then I'm going to rub my hands together and make a little bit of foam. I need a little bit of water with this to get it to foam up. There we go. So I've got my foam in there. I apply the foam to my face. We actually call this a dry cleanse. So I'm not rinsing my face or getting it wet before I put cleanser on. I never do that because I want the good ingredients in my cleansers to really be able to get onto my skin. So I don't put water on it first. This time I do have the oil on it first because I wanted to do my Anma and that's okay. This cleanser will get right through that. So I'm adding now more water so I have good slip. And I'm gonna quickly turn on a towel. Let me grab a towel, you guys. I think I do. I do this every week. I forget to grab the towel. So got my towel. I want to dry my hands and I'm going to turn on my device. So I'm going to push the on off on the bottom and then I'm going to push mode on top. And now it says Sonic. So I am going to push this button five times to turn it up to full strength Sonic. And then I'm going to push mode up here again. And I'm going to push the shift button. Now I want to get glasses on. When you're cleansing, you want to use plus. So cleansing is plus. So I'm going to get to the plus, which is the first one. And I'm going to push that five times. And now it's on maximum amount. And then I'm going to push mode again. And I'm going to push shift. Nope. Sorry, guys. I was push shift till I turn that back off. Okay. I push mode and that took us to negative. I don't want negative. So I'm going to push mode again. And that takes me to massage. So I push shift. That just turns on my massage. And then I'm going to push mode. And why not use some LED light? So let's use red today. And then I'm going to push CFM over here. That just means confirm. And that turns it on. Now you want to have one hand that you're using your device with that's dry that's touching this little outer edge right here. Now, because it took me a while to do all that with my talking and everything, I've got to get some more water on my face. There we go. Skin has to be wet in order for your devices, most your devices to work. You've got to have wet skin. So I'm going to get in here, do my cleansing. This, the timer on this automatically goes to 15 minutes, but you don't need to do 15 minutes with the cleanser. I'm just going to do it is for a few minutes, as long as I want, and then turn it off. I go right over the lips. 
Get that neck. Now, a lot of people don't realize that cleansing is so important because that's what sets your skin up to be able to absorb all the nutrients and the serums that we're going to put on. Also, cleansing is the only way to break that skin tension barrier so that water can get in. So cleansing is super important to having that plump, water-filled, well-hydrated skin. Oftentimes, people who have dehydrated skin where the skin looks a little crepey, it it's often they think their skin is dry and they don't want to cleanse their face, but it's the reason why your skin is crepey that way is because you've got to get water into it. So you've got to be washing your face twice a day. Get the sides of the nose. That's where I get a little bit of clogged pores. Now, all I'm doing is using the hand that's not on the device. I tap it into a bowl of water that I have here. And whenever I need more slip, I'm just adding a bit more water on. It's super easy to do. If you don't want to leave your tap running, just put some water in your sink. Pull the plug up or put the plug down. Have a little water there so you can keep tapping your fingers in and getting more water. Okay. So cleansing done. I'm going to turn my device off. And I'm going to wipe it off. On a quick little side note here, if you guys haven't picked up one of these yet, this is where I store my devices at home. This is from My Skin Buddy. This is a sanitizing bag. I even put my electric toothbrush in it. So, you know, if I'm all done with this device for the day, I would stick it in here. I could stick in my eye rejuvenator in here, close it up turn it on and it'll run and then turn off when it's done. And then when I come back, my devices are right here and ready to go the next day. So I've done my cleanse. I'm going to now use my Lush cloth. Let's get one out here. And we are now selling our, I think they're sage or olive. I don't know. Green is the color of our Lush cloths right now. So every few months we've had to change colors because our distributor is having trouble keeping up with our demand, which is, I guess, a good thing. <laughs> good problem to have. Everybody loves these things. So I'm going to get nice and well rinsed. Do one more rinse. Get my nasal flares. Get them up there. Okay, skin is nice and clean, well rinsed. Now, the cool thing about both the My Skin Buddy and the Wave can both be used with your toner. You can put a toner pad on these and then work the toner into the skin. So I'm gonna grab, I've got my toner here today. I've got the Botnia. This is the Rose Water Tonic rose water toner. I'm going to spritz it onto my little pad. About six spritzes is what I usually do. And there's this little ring right here, which I'm really good at losing. <laughs> Got to remember to always put it back on when you're done. And then I'm going to put my pad on here. Got it. I'm going to turn my device on. And so I'm going to do power. And then I'm going to go up here to mode and I want to use Sonic. So I'm going to push shift five times. Now for ion, this time I'm going to do ion negative because this is a toner. I want to drive the ingredients into my skin. So I'm going to go down, skip positive, go to negative and push shift five times. And then I'm going to go to mode again. I'm going to go massage. Yeah, I just always like massage. So let's choose that. And I'm going to skip LED because LED is not going to get through my toner pad. Hit confirm. And then I can work this toner into the skin. And it smells so good. I love the Botany of Donors and Hydrosols. They smell amazing.
I can get a little bit of enlarged pores through here and over my nose. So I like to get that area. Over my forehead. Hairline, super important place to get your toner. Back of the neck. Chest. And we're good. So now I'm going to turn my device off. I'm going to take off my toner pad. And I'm going to put the ring back on. <laughs> so I don't lose it. Yay. Okay. Next step in my routine. Daughter toner. Now I'm going to grab. Oh, this is going to be super exciting, you guys. I'm just a sneak peek of what's coming up. I'm going to be showing you a new product today. It's not on the market yet, but it's super fun and wonderful. And I'll show it to you in just a few minutes. What I'm starting here with, oh, let's give myself one pump. Unless I'm run out now. This is recovery serum. This is the medium size. Oh, I guys can't really see it very well. There you go. This is the medium size recovery serum. It's not the bottle that I recommend. I recommend getting the large one. You'll be able to measure your amounts out better and you won't overuse it. It'll last longer. Because you just use one pump. Okay, got my recovery serum on. Now I wanna do a little bit with my eyes. My eyes have been a little dehydrated coming back from being sick. What I've chosen today is the Michelle Corley, and this is her revitalizing peptide, peptide and stem cell eye, eye serum. And I'm going to be using it with the MBK eye rejuvenator. It's like the camera wants to focus on my eyes. So if I do this, then you guys can see what it says. Okay. So I like the serum with the eye rejuvenator because it has a lot of slip. So I can do a really nice treatment and have plenty of slip all around the eyes. Let's turn on my unit and there we go. So first I'm spreading it all around. And then I like to get in and do a little holding on the areas that I want to lift. Other side, lift. I like to get my kitty whiskers. Crow's feet. I like to do some nice light draining movements. So I'm getting that lymph moving out of there. So we do some puffiness and dark circles. And there I've just about used up all the slip. Got a little more slip over here. Look at those crow's feet that go up. <laughs> My crow's feet go up this way. All right. Now I've lost all slips, so I'm just gonna turn it off. And now I get to show you the new fun thing. So Dr. Este has come out with this bubble toner. And this is not what the label is gonna look like or anything. I am testing this product for them. This is the third generation. We've been testing for a while and um, this is the third product they've come up with as they keep improving it. And I don't think it's going to get any better than this because this is so perfect. It's so good. So what this is designed for is to help, especially for you guys who have trouble getting your cavapla to foam. This really activates the foam in your cavapla. So I've actually had to change my routine a little bit because you guys know for vitamin C, I use the Emma Pell serum. And normally you would put Emma Pell serum on 
before you would put on your Cavaplub. But I have found with the bubble system, I'm using my Emma Pell serum after the Cavapla. And I know it still works because when I put on my Emma Pell serum, I'm still getting that pinkness and it's still doing its job really well. So let's start out here with the new bubble toner. I'm going to get a nice pile of foam on my hands and just apply that around the face. Now don't wait for it to dry. Just get it on your skin and you can already see it's a little foamy. Now I'm going to add some pumps of my Cavapla. And then once I've applied it, I'm going to wait just a few seconds and see how, whoa, let's get on the lips too. We got to have good lips. But see all that nice foaminess? I love that. So now I need to penetrate this. And you can penetrate it by massaging it in, or you can use your MBK Wave to penetrate it in. I've grabbed the TMP. If you have the TMP at home, you can use the TMP on the lowest setting and use that to rub it into the skin. You'll only want to rub with your device until you lose slip until it's all worked in. If you want to use your device for a little bit longer, you're gonna to need to grab some isocell recovery solution or because I was talking and I didn't get on fast enough, I'm gonna use some of my Botnia, one of my Botnia hydrosols, just to give me a little more slip. So I can keep doing this for just a, another 30 seconds or so. Another tool that you can use, there's a few things you can use to drive um, your products into your skin. The skin flower can be used to drive ingredients into the skin. The, Mike, the Claire Blend Mini could be used. I could be doing this and working the product into the skin with the mini. And, or you could use your Curve on the CIV, which is the ultrasound setting. And that would use this disc here in the middle. And you could use that to work your products into your skin. So you have lots of choices on the product, on the, you have lots of choices, flexibility there on which device you want to use to drive those serums and that Cavapla deeper into the skin. All right, I've used up all my slip, so I'm going to turn off my device. If you want to do a longer treatment with your uh, TMP, then you're going to need to use conductive gel with it. And if you want to use it on the higher settings, you need to use conductive gel. But if you just want to use it on the very lowest setting for just under two minutes to drive your serums in, that's perfectly fine. And I find that you can do that every morning if you like to. Um, normally at home, I'm using the wave. And so if you're going to use the wave to drive your serums in, you're going to turn it on. And then you're going to push mode, and that's going to give you sonic. So you're going to push your shift five times. And then I want to go push shift until I get to ion negative. And then I'm going to push, oops, I'm all messed up here. Sometimes I have to start over. Okay, back on sonic. I'm going to push the shift five times. That did it that time. Okay, mode. I'm going to skip positive, go down to negative. Push shift five times. Of course, if you don't want it that strong, you don't have to take it all the way up to five, but I like to do that. Then I'm going to go to mode. I'm going to turn on massage. Then I'm going to go to mode. And let's time, this time, let's do the green. Green is really good for hyperpigmentation. And then I'm going to push confirm. And I, my skin is all dry now. So that if I just had the foam all over my face, I could work in with the foam. I don't have foam left, so I'm just going to use my hydrosol again. Get my skin wet. And my wave is perfect for driving serums into the skin. With summer, my decollete has been very dehydrated and had extra lines. So I really love using my device here because it's really going to drive that moisture deep into the skin. The lips, don't forget the lips. Forehead, 
That's the other thing in the summertime. Does your forehead take a beating? I know mine does. And the skin starts to look thin and dry. So we want to use our serums and our devices up there and get that skin well cared for. Okay, so we've done a double infusion. I infused it with the TMP and then I infused with my wave. Just choose one or the other. You don't have to do both um, unless you just are enjoying your tools and wanting to take your time. It does, it's not going to hurt you to do both. Okay, next step, I'm going to put on my vitamin C serum and I'm using the Emma Pell as my vitamin C serum. It's got that vitamin C serum in there. It's also got MEP, which really helps to balance out that estrogen loss in my 59 year old skin. Now, if you are younger and you're using a different type of vitamin C and it's more um, watery and thin, you could put that on before you did the bubble toner and the Cava Club. But this I'm going to put on after one pump. My neck, my back of my neck. I love this stuff. I even sometimes will do a pump for my arms because I just love it and my skin needs it. And I think this was the biggest game changer for me last year was getting started on this serum. So I've got my Emma Pell on. So I'm in California and I'm an outdoor girl. I just ride my scooter around. I ride my bike around. I play some tennis. I'm, I've taken up jump rope and I like to do that outside. So I really need extremozymes on my skin. I really need to protect my DNA because I get some dark spots on my skin, uneven pigmentation, and sun damage. So what I like to use for my moisturizer, those of you who are not acne prone can use this, is the Is Clinical, and it's the Reparative Emulsion. And I love it because it's got those extremozymes. Now, if you are more blemish prone or acne prone, you might want to choose um, Neogenesis Barrier Renewal Cream. So those are kind of the acne safe and non-acne safe choices. I'm not acne prone anymore, thank goodness. So I'm going to use a pump of reparative emulsion. I'm going to apply that. This is going to bubble wrap my DNA and really protect it from damage reduce the chances of skin cancer, reduce the chances of little funny growths and hyperpigmentation and all those things that come with damaged DNA. All right, now the other thing that goes with protecting ourselves from DNA damage, right, is sunscreen. So my favorite sunscreen I've been using this summer, I'm shaking the bottle. This is from Sorella. I think it's just the glare of the light that's making it hard. Oop, doo, there we go. See if it'll pick it up. There we go. Sorella Dewdrops. And this is in their tint one. It lasts a long time. I'm still in the same bottle from when this launched. I'm going to use one pump. They have a brush that you can use to put this on. Works beautifully. Today, I'm just going to use my hands because I wanted to show you my simple hand technique with my makeup and everything. So we're gonna have a little fun today and put on a little makeup too. So I've got on my dew drops. Now I'm going to grab from Illuminaire. Then <laughs> you can tell this tube's been around for a while. This is the concealing formula and it's in the color Portofino Porcelain. This formula can be the trickiest to use. Um, I never start people on it because they're like, oh, this is too thick. I don't like it. But I wanted to show you guys, I've been using it in the summertime because it has an SPF 20. So it's giving me that extra layering. All the Illuminaire have an SPF of 20. But I really feel like this one gives me great coverage um, as far as sun protection goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just grabbing a little bit you can kind of see there, it's like a pea size amount on there, not very much. I'm gonna warm it in my fingers 
And then I'm just going to pat it where I want it, which is just where I get the dark spots and on the sides of my nose. And, you know, technically with summer here, I could go to the next darker shade, Portofino Porcelain, but I find that, not Portofino Porcelain, the next shade up is Florentine Fair. I could go to that, but I like to look lighter rather than darker. So if you're one of those um, people that likes a little more tan, you could make that jump to the next darker shade. I find though that this one just completely um, melts into my skin and within a few minutes you can't even see it and it doesn't matter that I'm using a shade that's just a little bit light for me for summer. Back up so you guys can get a good look at that. Skin just looks perfect. I love it. The common thing that I hear people say with the Luminaire, once they learn how to use it and put it on right, they say, I look like me, only better. So people will say to me or say to you all the time, do you even wear foundation? You don't look like you're even wearing makeup. I love that. I love something that just gives me that really nice natural look that doesn't look like I'm really wearing anything at all. So I've got that on there now. I use my fingertips just to lay it down into those pores on the sides of the nose. And I've grabbed some lipstick. So today for lipstick, I grabbed Lily Lolo. This is, let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go, Lily Lolo. And I'm using Undressed. So let's put a little that on. And I just need a little bit of blush on my cheeks. So a little bit of the lipstick. And I didn't remove my mascara, so I don't really need to redo my eye makeup. Most important thing to me every day is a little bit of color on my lips and my cheeks. And then I'm pretty darn happy. That worked pretty good. Take my hair out. You guys are gonna think this is funny. This week I cut my own hair. I have a hair appointment tomorrow. But my hair, it had been so long and my hair was driving me crazy. So I've made two ponytails like this and I went like this and I just chopped it off. I chopped an inch of my hair off and I knew it was going to be okay. It's all not very great right now, but it got me through the last week without wanting, <laughs> without being really miserable. It's a little choppy and uneven, but it worked pretty good. And I knew that I was going to have her go a little bit shorter so she'd still have enough hair to work with. So do you guys ever do that? Cut your own hair? I wanted to also cut my bangs, but I draw the line there. I, I've done that in the past and it's never a good experience. So I did not allow myself to cut my own bangs. Anyway, so those are my devices. Those are um, the fun things that I like to do every day. Now, if this was at nighttime, I don't generally use my devices at nighttime. I do my devices in the morning. Um, but what I do use at nighttime is my light stem. So I keep this next to the bed. And after I do my full nighttime routine, my moisturizers, my Emma Bell night cream, everything, um, then I will use my light stem at night. And I hold it about this far off my skin. And I'll wait till it beeps on one side of my face. And then I'll do the other side of my face, do my forehead. And then when it beeps, and then I'll do my neck and my chest. And so this is that, I can't live without this. You know, with your light stem as well, you have to use it a minimum of five days a week to start seeing those improvements. And you're gonna start seeing your improvements at about five weeks in because that's how long it takes for new skin cells to rise up to the surface. So with your LED, you can't be one of those people that just wants to use it once or twice and see all this great change. Um, you've got to be persistent and patient. It's got to be one of those things that you use every day. You just do it because you know in the long run, you're going to see great results from it. It's not going to be those quick overnight results. Now, the quick overnight result one or the same day result is that TMP, right? That's why we love this one so much because it does that plumping and it's so quick. Um, the Curve, 
for the firming, the firming from the curve is amazing. And we don't see that the same day that we use it. You see that tightening the next day. And you will see continue tightening the more you use it and keep it up in the long term. But some of our devices will see just those great results really immediately. And then other things, you got to be persistent and keep doing it. The Claire Blend Mini. The Claire Blend Mini is going to give you some instant penetrating results and some plumping. But to really do that lifting that you want to do, you've got to be persistent with that puppy. And you've got to use it three times a week or you're not going to see those results. Um, what other device? What's this? Um, the, the eye device. <clears throat> the eye rejuvenator. I see results with this immediately. And you will see continually firming results when you use this device. The MBK Wave, um, you will see continual buildup of good results, but you will also see immediate results with the Wave because you're going to see more plumping. You're going to see more water and more hydration going into your skin. Um, the Skin Flower. The skin flower can be used to drive ingredients down into the skin. And you'll see some immediate results when you use it as a skin spatula, when you're using it to remove that top layer of dull, dead skin cells and surface debris. So you'll get pretty fast results with this little device as well. Um, the Onma. This is the only non-electric device that I brought for you guys today. But, oh, man, I just love this device. I love reducing the tension and just draining the lymphatics with this puppy. And you'll see a reduction in tension in your skin immediately with this device. But this is another device, too. Most of these are things that you just need to use them every day um, or every other day, how they're prescribed to be used. Because our skin is constantly renewing itself, degenerating and renewing. And so all of these devices just help to speed up that cell renewal process and help keep your skin really firm, beautiful and glowing. So there are some people, you know, you're just a minimalist. You just want to get, you know, wash, put a serum on, moisturizer or sunscreen and be done. Um, so when you're, if you're that kind of a person, be careful in the kind of tool that you choose. Because if you buy yourself the Claire Blend Mini, but you're I'm one of those people that's only going to do it once a month or once every other week, you're not going to get the results that you want from that. So you've got to kind of be aware of yourself, really know yourself and know how dedicated are you and will you really do it every day? I find that I need to have something that I do every day or I just completely forget about it all and I don't do it. So I really love the wave because I can use that every day. It just sits there like my toothbrush and um, I get it done. Um, I also like microcurrents and just a little teaser for you guys. I am developing um, microcurrent. Um, I'm working um, with Pooja from mile lift and we're creating a whole new mile lift for you guys um and a collaborative we're doing collaborative efforts and she um is an engineer and she's from india and her family creates medical devices in india and so that's where we're having the device made and she's actually in india right now working on our specs and getting it ready for you guys we are fingers crossed we really want to get it to you guys by um, the holiday season. So we're hoping to have it here by Thanksgiving and we'll start doing some training on it. It's going to be a wonderful device and a lot of fun to use. So that's coming um, in the future. Um, it's going to be more advanced than the Claire Blend Mini, but it's also going to cost more than the Claire Blend Mini. So the Claire Blend Mini is still a great tool because of that price point. Gives you really a nice result uh, for that lower price point. Um, this my new device is going to be um, less expensive than um, the Mitama, um, and it will not replace your Mitama. If you've already purchased a Mitama from me, um, you'll be able to use it in this, with me when I'm using my new device. They have some similarities; they're a bit different, but but you won't need to replace your Mitama. But if you don't have a Mitama, 
you are going to want this new mile lift that uh, Pooja and I are designing. It's going to be so fun. It is so fun. We've had a lot of fun doing it. Okay, I'm going to open up to questions now. And look at my makeup. Does that, doesn't that work out nice? It's just one layer of this and a little pea size amount of that. And then a little lipstick for color. Turned out kind of, it just gives you that glowy look. It works. Okay, we're going to get into questions here. Going to find them. Oops. Do we have any questions, Ben? Uh, there's a few. Okay. Maybe you can help me find them. They're not showing up over here. Let's get Ben on the screen. He can help us find our... <laughs> I'm just not so good with a Mac. I'm a PC girl. <laughs> oh, good. You're having trouble, too. It's not me. <laughs> okay, Ben. We're going to use a phone. For some reason, on the computer, our messages aren't... Our live chats aren't popping up. So let's get them here. So Jenny, hey Jenny. She says, I never understood why some people recommend that you skip the morning wash of your face. I could never. I know. I, I don't know why either. I know that some people think their skin isn't dirty or something, but we, we need to rehydrate it. Even if you feel like your skin's not dirty after sleeping at night, we need to rehydrate it. Uh, Jenny says, do you sell the bag you were talking about for the device? I guess I could just look. Yes. Go ahead. Do a search under My Skin Buddy for brand on the website. And we have these bags on the website. So you'll be able to get that during the double points. Okay. Then we have, why doesn't the Curve drive in serums on the LED RF setting? I've never tried the other one for serums. Okay. So the RF, you need to do RF, you really need to put on your conductive gel. Um, it's a more advanced technique, um, modality, and it really needs to have conductive gel used with it. Um, the ultrasound though is better for penetrating ingredients into the skin. And so your that's why on the curve, you want to use the CIV settings to do that product penetration. Plus, these are the RF plates out here. And for product penetration, that's just kind of awkward. The ultrasound pad is this one. And that you can really get in good contact with your skin to drive products in. Now, if you just use the other... The RF, because the settings are simplest to turn on RF, make yourself, this is my bag right here. I'm seeing if it's in here. Oh, uh, yeah. No, yes, it is in here. This is my cheat sheet. So I've written this out. You can reach out to the live chat, and Lindsay has typed this out, so she can send it to you typed out. But I've just written down, there's the CIV settings. And there are the RF settings. And I keep it in my little bag. And that makes it really easy. And also my charge cord is in my little bag. So that you can use it for... Uh, so you don't lose your stuff. It's good to keep all your stuff organized. All right. So that's why. RF needs conductive gel. Okay. Jenny again, I have a hard time with foundation because I have glycation and I feel like it shows up more. It makes me so sad. Um, so try Jenny doing what I did, you know, using the drop of essence, then using the luminaire, which you should do is stick with the luminaire moisturizing finish. And you want to put it on immediately after your sunscreen or mix it with your sunscreen and use a whole lot less. You can use the Illuminaire, but when you have some glycation or bigger pore things going on, you just want to use less. And just think of it as a highly pigmented product. And I mean, such a tiny amount. For you, it'd be like this little dot right here on my finger 
and then I would warm it up and then I would just put little dots like this. See how translucent that is? You can hardly even see there's any on there. And then gently rub it in in a downward motion. And you can see, I know on the hands it's hard, but you can see that it just really makes the coverage very, very light. And then that will work for you. Also, Jenny, don't use it over your whole face. You'll notice that all I use it on is my nose and a little bit on my cheeks where I have um, uneven pigmentation. I'm not putting it, you saw me rubbing. So little bits of extra leftovers might get on other areas of my face, but predominantly I'm just applying in this little area. So if you have a lot of glycation going on over here, don't apply any in that area. Maybe just use it on the nose and a little bit on the cheek here. And then whatever little leftover blend in with it, but don't actually apply it to your, what you might think of as your problem area. Okay, next one. From May says, so that's how you got the beautiful glow. Your skin is always bright and beautiful. Thank you, May. And yes, that's why I wanted to do this whole routine for you guys because uh, I wanted you to see that's how I get that glow. I just use these things and this makeup and I'm gentle with them. Jenny says, OMG, I love my Myolive so much. Wow, how exciting. Yes, it is very exciting. The new Myolift is going to be amazing. It's just, it's, it's microcurrent at that next level. Next level microcurrent. Um, let's see, Valentina. So you don't use your light stim on clean skin without serums. I use mine every night on dry, clean skin. Valentina, you can use it on dry, clean skin. That's great. But also the light stim is strong. It is powerful enough that you can use, as long as you're not putting sunscreen on, you can use it right um, over even your moisturizers and you still get great um, light penetration. A lot of us find that just doing the light stim by itself with no serums, our skin feels dry, can feel kind of dehydrating. So I've found that I like putting, I just put on my skincare routine. It's also easier. I don't have to think about it. Just put on my skincare routine, plop uh, the light stim on there, do my treatment, and then I'm good to go. So to answer that, you could do it either way. Uh, we have a hello from Greece. We have Sue who says, have you talked about the new Dr. Estee product yet? I'm using two Dr. Estee products currently and love them both. Yes, the new product was the bubble toner. So this is a toner. You rub it onto the skin. I put on my Neogenesis Recovery Serum first, and then I put this on top, and then I'm putting on my Cavapla before it even dries anything. I put on my Cavapla and I let it foam up. It's probably not going to foam up because I put foundation on. So that's a, this is a good example for you guys who have told me, oh, my Cavapla, well, I'm getting a little foam, just a lot less foam. Cavapla loves clean skin. So the cleaner your skin is, the better the product is going to foam. But I am still getting some foam on there. The bubble tonic really helps. Yeah, so, so bubble tonics, it's a new product coming out from Dr. Estee. It's not on the shelf yet. We've been helping them develop it. So we're on the third generation of it, just nailing down the ingredients and getting it really perfect for you guys. And I will definitely be letting you know when we have it on the shelves. All right. Here we go. Valentina, thank you for mentioning your new microcurrent tool coming up so we can save our money for it. Yes, it's going to be under $1,000. <laughs> that's what I can tell you. Pretty well under $1,000. So that's kind of nice. Um, I think, what was it? I think it's under $800. It's right around $800. Maybe $799. I can't remember exactly what we decided on once we got all the components picked. Um. From Greece, she says, I am very confused about the names of your face machines. Please, can you be more clear? 
So what I will do for you is in the description of the video, come back a little later today, look at the video and there's a down arrow and look at the description and I will list out the tools that I use today so that you can see them. Um, I don't think these are available in Greece, except for maybe the My Skin Buddy, or not My Skin Buddy, but the um, the Wave. I think you can get some of these from MBK. I think maybe they ship internationally. So we'll get those written down for you and you so you can find them. Jenny says, I always learn so much. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> And then I have Valentina. So I use my Skin Buddy to penetrate my serums, and that works quite well. Yeah, it does. Um, my Skin Buddy is a great device. Uh, the Wave is just the My Skin Buddy on steroids. <laughs> I need steroids in my machine. Um, let's see. Valentina says, so besides the foaming action, what else does the bubble tonic do for your skin? We'll have more about that when it hits the shelves. There's some great ingredients in there. It's even got the PLLA in there, which we know is really good for plumping the skin. So we'll talk more about that. Um, plus, they're still ironing out the ingredients. We've we've had some different, like I said, different renditions. Some with, some with PLLA in them, the polylactic acid. We've had others with AHAs in it, and they just keep messing with it. So I can't give you the exact ingredients yet. Sarah says, could the curve possibly create or worsen hyperpigmentation? And what med modality could it be? Um, the curve should not increase hyperpigmentation. Make sure um, when you're doing the RF, I mean, if anything, RF, if you're really um, sensitive to heat, maybe RF could do it. I've never had the RF stimulate my pigmentation, but it could be the RF. I would make sure that you're moving it around and make sure that you're using a good conductive gel and the conductive gel stays slippery. Don't let it dry out on the skin. Um, the other device here that would cause um, increase some of your hyperpigmentation would be LED, the light stem. And that's why I don't put it directly on my skin. I hold it a little off my skin, and then I don't have that problem with it. Okie dokie. Sue says, will the bubble tonic be acne safe? Well, we're hoping so. All the feedback we've been getting, giving them, we've even sent them our list of ingredients. Um, they're really trying to make sure that it is acne safe for us. They love working with me and um, they know that all of you guys want acne safe ingredients. So my hope is that it will be um, throughout the various uh, formulations so far, it's been acne safe. And so that's the hope. And Sarah says, by the way, I am not acne prone. Where is Sarah? Did you have another question up here that you read? Let me go back. Sarah. No. I don't see any other messages. Oh, there's Sarah right there. Could the curve possibly create or worsen hyperpigmentation? And then she says, by the way, I'm not acne prone. And so, yeah, I see. Okay, and here's Sarah again. She says, is neogenesis or Emma Pell sun sensitive? Neogenesis won't cause any sun sensitivity. sensitivity. The Emma Pell Skin Serum will not cause sun sensitivity, and the vitamin C in it is excellent for helping to prevent um, problems. The Emma Pell Serum also has things in it to help um, with dark spots that you can get from estrogen loss. So Emma Pell is, Serum is going to be fine. Now, Emma Pell Night Cream is a retinol product. So retinol helps correct sun damage, but it can also make you more sun sensitive. So in the summer months, I don't use the Emma Pell night cream, but maybe once a week and I'll put it on kind of thick and wear it to bed and use it as kind of a night mask. So it's my, in my retinol, um, estrogen balancing mask that I'll use just once a week. And then in the winter months, I can use it every night, but in the summertime, because I'm outdoors so much and I'm so sensitive to hyperpigmentation, I will cut back to using that just just once a week. So I hope that is helpful for you. Um, 
The other thing, Sarah, for you, you might... I don't know if your if your pigmentation is hormonal or not. Rhonda Allison has it used to be called MVC serum. It has a new name now. In my brain. Maybe if Lauren or somebody is watching, they'll pipe up on here. But you could even reach out to live chat, and they would tell you MVC serum has it's a vitamin C serum that actually helps to balance out those hormones in the skin for those who are 45 and under, um, who are not acne prone. To if you have melasma, it's going to help balance that out. So maybe that would be a good choice for you. If you're 45 and over, I recommend the Emma Pell. Okay, next question we have from Valentina. Can you read your cheat sheet real quick for the curve, please? So the cheat sheet, you can see it. Let's go to the website. I'll do it right here with you guys on Ben's phone. We'll go to Safari. And let's go to Art of Skin Care. And now I'm on Art of Skin Care. Now in the search bar, right up at the top, I'm going to type curve. And I'm going to find the curve. It says MBK curve four in one with serum. I'm going to press on that. And there it is. And as I scroll down, I'm going to go to Keep scrolling down. So I'll show you what I'm scrolling through a bit here. So I go through who will love it, what's included, four modalities, radio frequency, ultrasound, LED, biomechanical, recommended use. So I don't know if you can see that, but once you get down to recommended use, it'll say settings for RF radio frequency. So on one side of my little green card, I write down what I need and I'll pull it out here. You can see my sloppy handwriting, but those are the instructions. And you can just, you don't have to write out every single one of those, just write out the important ones for yourself. So for me on here, it says RF. Number one, turn it on. Number two, tap bottom button twice. <laughs> Number three, um, no. Sorry, I'm already reading it to you wrong. That's why you have to go to the website and just look on there. But so RF, turn it on. Number two, top, um, push the top button twice. Number three, push the bottom button twice. And then my RF is turned on. And you can see on here, just write down the main points that you need to remove, which buttons to push. That's all you need to remember. Um, then go down to the next one, settings for CIV. So settings for CIV, you're going to press power button four times. So on here, on my CIV side, is it, it might even be backwards for you guys, but <laughs> are they seeing it backwards? Um, <laughs> I don't know. So I wrote CIV and then I just put for number one, power four, I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it, four, there it goes, with an X. That means four times. I'm going to push the power button four times. Number two, push, select, and two times. So select is the power button is the top button. Select is the bottom button. So put it in a language that works for you guys. I hope I'm not making this all worse. But I just make it so simple. So I'm pushing the bottom button twice. And then I'm on. That's I just have two steps for my CIV, three steps for my RF. But if you go on the website and you go down to settings there, it's real easy for you to just figure out, do you want to call it select and on, or do you want to call it top button, bottom button? I used to have it top button, bottom button, and that's how I remember. But a lot of you guys got confused because you would look at it and go, well, which one's top and which one's bottom? So now I have the on button which is the one that looks like a circle with a line. That's the on. Let's see, wow. that's the on button. And then select has the two arrows, an arrow going down, arrow going up. That's your select button. So work it out for yourself. Read those instructions and then make your little cheat sheet. If it's going to be press the on button, then press, when I say top button, that's the on button. Push that twice push select button twice or whatever, write that down on your little cheat sheet. 
And then you've got it right there every time you need it. And this little bad boy, because I'm so lazy. You guys, I have um, my O2 calming gel next to the bed and my ISO cell. And sometimes I'll do my belly treatment at night before I go to sleep or in the morning when I first wake up, I'll spritz my belly and do my belly treatment um, before I get up. I just find for whatever reason, that's just my style. It works for me having it next to the bed. Maybe for you, it's next to the TV. You just keep your little stash in a little basket next to the TV. And when you're watching TV, pull up your shirt and put on your gel and spritz and do your RF on your belly and then your CIV. Um, you know, find what works for you so it makes it easiest for you to do it. Okay, Ben, let's see now if we can find if we have any other questions. Here we go. Sophie says, can you use Farmhouse Fresh wine down underneath Emma Pell night cream once a week? Absolutely. Yep. No problem. You can definitely do that. Valentina says, I love the curve, but I've had so many problems figuring out the modes for myself. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So just get your little card, index card out. And as you read the direction, directions, figure out which language you like and just write them down and it'll be perfect. I had to do it. I, I was I'm so embarrassed because I'd come on with you guys to do something and I couldn't even remember which buttons to push. The curve is the most complicated of our devices, but once you write it down, it makes it so much simpler. So thank you so much for joining us today, you guys. We did it. We got through that whole morning routine and questions in one hour. Well done. Thank you for tuning in. It's so fun to be here. I'm going to be coming to you live next week from Oceanside going to visit my husband. Um, it's his last week up in um, Oceanside. So I'm going to go there and have some fun on the beach. And we're going to be talking about a topic you've all wanted to hear about. And that is how to make uh, your custom serums to use inside the Lemieux O2 diffuser. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I have some really nice things that I like to put in my diffuser to use for my whole body. And I'm going to share those with you guys while I'm in San Diego next week. So we'll see you then. Take care.